I saw the film with a uh, crowd of young girls and young boys, teenagers, and uh, never experienced anything like that in my life. They were literally sobbing and crying. Did you have any idea it would have this kind of response when you signed on? I, mean, I don't think so. I mean, so how could you? Level. I mean, we, we, I mean, I def we both knew it was, I mean, I cried five times reading the, just the script of, you know, and then the book, you know. And so we, I definitely knew it was, I mean, obviously it's a, it's, it, it is extremely moving, but when we, because we came into that same screening near the end and heard what was happening, I've, I've never, how could you expect that? I mean, that was so extreme and touching and, and just an incredible experience to what, hear that. What do you think it is about this story that touches the audience so much? Well, first of all, you know, there are so many things that John taps into, but culturally, um, grief is uh, definitely suppressed in our culture, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it, we're even medicated for it, um, like anxiety. It's not something that's a conversation. So for a generation of teens to be honored for their feelings and be given permission to feel the depth of bravery that it takes to love knowing that love can have an end game um, is just a, a gorgeous theme for all of us of every mm -hmm. age, um, regardless of what it, what, what it is that is our personal grief. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think that's really palpable for, for people. And I think it's why we felt this collective wave of, you know, outward mm -hmm. emotion, which mm -hmm. was incredible. Yeah, really incredible. Yeah. Uh, now, you two play uh, Shailene's parents in the film. How does her illness, her cancer, kind of affect the way that they parent? I feel like they, she that's a good does question. different things than maybe a typical teenager might. Well, we, uh, yeah, I think it's something that's always on our minds and, uh, you know, everything from wanting to get her to just get outside a little bit, for get fresh air, to get, a, get wanting to her to walk, to help with her heart, wanting her to get out to the support group so that she can meet, meet people. people who... Her getting a boyfriend is a huge thing, I think, that we're both really excited about with Gus. Um, you know, wanting to give him the caveats if she can only do this or do that, so make sure you, you know, are into that before you go further. But uh, it, it's affected our whole lives, the fact that she's sick and, and how we think about every day about the food we give her, right? Um, it's changed our whole lives. And how to normalize the disease in any way we can so that she has, at moments, an, a an average teenage mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. Like how to allow that um, vegging on the couch, walk, watching America's, yeah, America's top, top model. model, you know. So, so to give her room uh, for profundity and wisdom, mm -hmm. and also just yeah. everyday kid stuff. Yeah. Made in Hollywood.